Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to show you how I make my own static grass tufts, flowers, and shrubs for my basing and terrain, and how you can do so cheaply without having to buy, you know, professional made tufts from Army Painter in which you'll be paying 10 to 20 times more than if you were to just make them yourselves. And I also think mine actually look better. So I'll just run you through how quick and easy it is and why you really should invest in a static grass applicator if you're making any amount of terrain. So for these tufts, I'm going to be using 6.5 millimeter static grass from the mini nature line that you can get from Scenic Express. And I'm just going to be combining this with a bunch of different kinds of flock with here some, uh, some miniature leaves from um, Knock, some different colored flocks to simulate flowers. Now you can get some cool effects. So to make these tufts, I'm just gonna take a piece of parchment paper, add a little bit of PVA glue. All right, that'll be a nice way to adhere your grass onto it. And then once it dries, it's really easy to peel off the dried PVA and tufts from the parchment paper. So here we are starting to to apply the static grass with an applicator here. I got this off of eBay for only about 30 bucks. You can usually get these from Chinese manu manufacturers pretty cheap. And I'm just using some six and a half millimeter grass here. As I said before, I mixed in mostly spring grass blend with a little bit of fall for a little bit more of a brown grass and some dark green late summer grass. And after my first application, I then dump the excess grass onto a paper towel, put it back in the applicator, and usually it takes two or three passes to really get a dense tuft that will look good on your basing or your terrain. So I go over several times, making sure pretty much all the glue it disappears and all you have left is the static grass. And then once we get our tufts and they've dried a little bit, I peel them off or you can even leave them on the parchment paper, doesn't matter. And, and now I'm going to put on some mini leaves, which are, come from Scenic Express, usually use them for trees. But if you apply them to these little tufts, it looks like, you know, little leaves. They look like little weeds or shrubs, which really looks nice, especially on miniature bases. Or you can do the same thing where you take these tufts, add a little bit here. This is actually Mod Podge that I'm putting on the top because it dries clear. And, you know, put a little bit of light green on there. And it, again, looks like a nice little spring shrub or even kind of like a flower. And if you really want to go for flowers, you know, you can, I like using yellows and whites to simulate kind of wildflowers here. But there you go. You just take your glue, dip it into the to flock and you get a nice looking flower. Now for this tuft, I'm using actually coarse flock and I'm adding that to the tuft and kind of pushing it into uh, the tuft there. So again, it ha it's more like a bush now and with a little bit of the, the grass kind of sticking out like, I don't know, like uh, little twigs as part of the bush. It also looks pretty good. And you can mix these techniques together. So here, here's a tuft that I had put those uh, small little leaves on. And now if you sprinkle a little bit of some yellow flock on there, you get a really cool looking flowering plant. It looks like, you know, flowers with some petals there. Looks pretty realistic. I'm trying to simulate a rose bush here, so I used a darker tuft, uh, you know, to simulate the stems of a rose bush. Add a little bit of red flock on there, and there you go. You got yourself a rose bush. So, as you can see, pretty easy to up the ante. I mean, static flock tufts I think are kind of boring on their own, but adding different types of flock to it can really make them look a lot better. So here I'm going to make a peel away meadow flowers that you can like buy from, uh, army painter so i just put down a layer of pva glue i'm actually going to be using a smaller static grass to make these meadow flowers so i'm going to be using uh, four millimeter grass from the mini mature line going using my applicator again to doing several passes to make a nice thick mat of four millimeter static grass here and then once that's dried i'm going over and i'm putting a bit of PV, watered down pva all over the static grass and here I'm adding some of the meadow flowers flock. Uh, I'm not sure the manufacturer of this, but it's it's a really nice looking flock. It's not too bright. It has some greens mixed in with the yellows. I think it looks pretty realistic, so I'm just sprinkling that all around. I'm also dropping in a little bit of some red flock in there, just to give some variation, and also a little bit of the brighter yellow that I used to make some of the flowers on the previously in the video. 
And in the end, once it dries, it actually looks pretty good. And you can just peel away little pieces of this, uh, tear it away, add it to your bases or your train, and it looks pretty good. It looks like a little meadow. So now you're going to see the static flocks in action, so I'm going to apply it to this uh, Sabbat base that I am making. So this is going to look a little ridiculous because I'm using pretty much all the different kinds of tufts that I made. So it's going to be a little bright. It's going to be looking like uh, my cavalry are riding through a botanical garden, but that's all right. But you can see, you can do a wide variety of different silhouettes and different colors and looks to your tufts by just adding the flocks that you probably have laying around your house. So I think I made about 10 to 15 different variants of shrubs. And I would suggest, you know, only limiting yourself to maybe only two or three different kinds of colors per base or per piece of terrain. You don't want to kind of overload it like I'm doing here. But, you know, if you have a different tons of flocks, you could do a wide range of different greens or even a little bit of yellows in there. And you could have a really diverse piece of scenery there. And it looks, in my opinion, a lot better than just these pointy strands of tufts that you can buy from, you know, Army Painter. So here is my finished base with some late Roman cavalry, also with my custom static flocks. And I think it looks pretty realistic just by going the extra mile, adding some different types of flock to my static grasses. You can get some really cool flowers and shrubs, and it really adds to the scene. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got something out of it. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you all soon with a new video. Take care.